Hey everybody, Corey with Scale Model Inc. here. Hey, today we're back to look at the new project. And the next project, we'll be working on another figure. Um, this one will be a World War II, a U.S. infantry figure from Alpine Miniatures, uh, one of my favorite uh, resin uh, model makers. Um, this is the 16026 U.S. Infantry Division, the big red one. Uh, I really love this figure. Um, and as you can see, I've got it all assembled. Um, got it all glued together and pinned and what have you. I made a base for it out of Sculpey. Um, just, uh, and then that's the Sculpey firm. Um, added some ground scatter and a little bit of ground work on it. Um, stones and that kind of thing um, and then when the when the thing when I actually the painting is dry I'm, I'm figured I've done with the figure and the oils have dried then I'll add probably a little bit of uh, um, ground cover um, to that and some probably some tufts but we'll see on that um, <clears throat> But yeah, and then this will this will attach to a little wooden base that I have. So, and the head is um, I'll paint that separately. Um, it's a pretty cool scope. I'm choosing the one with the texture with you know with the netted helmet. I don't know if that will. Pretty cool. Anyway, looking forward to get going on this one. So uh, I'm going to prime it up and then uh, do a base coat in acrylic. Um, that's generally what I do on figures like this is I'll prime them. Then I'll do a base coat in acrylic, you know, say for the pants. Uh, you know, it's it's the wool pants. So you do a, an acrylic color close to that and then the jacket, you know, an OD green. And then I'll apply my oils uh, to that. So, yeah. So, uh, we'll bring you back when when I've uh, got the prime and the base coats done right before we start painting on the oils. We'll see you in a bit. Hey, everybody. Just back to get a quick look here. Um, what I've done so far, I have... Um, uh, put a little bit of a base coat on the uh, the boots and the pants there. Just used a light um, sandy color. Uh, I think I'm going to go back over that with more like a burn umber color in acrylics. And then um, I put a very light green acrylic base coat on the uniform and then um the base coat of flesh and i have painted the rifle in acrylics just basic uh, beige brown from vallejo on the rifle stock and then black for the for the rest of the gun that'll the oils then will go over all the rest of this stuff and then on the uh the head, um, I did a, uh, an acrylic, uh, flesh, um, base coat, and then I did, uh, just, a, an olive drab, uh, base coat on the helmet. So we're ready to get rolling on the, uh, oils here, and I think I'm going to start with the head first. And when I get my first uh, round of oils put on there, I'll bring, bring you back. Hey everybody, just back here to give a look at where we are now. Um, I've got the base coat of the oils uh, in place. Um, well, the head is done. It's pretty much done. We 
what he's looking like. Uh, may do a little bit of more highlight on it. I'm not sure yet. Uh, the base is pretty much done. And uh, the shirt jacket, uh, I've got it ready for, you know, the next round of uh, highlights and probably have to reestablish some darks there. Uh, same thing with the pants and the boots. So for the, let me pull back here and look at my palette here. So the shirt jacket, uh, pearling green, uh, oxide of chromium green. And then a little dab of uh, uh, Van Dyke Brown there uh, to gray it down a little bit. And then I will subsequently take my mixture here and add um, some white to it and make some lighter uh, shades for doing the highlighting and what have you. And then, uh, let's see here. The pants was burn umber and uh, some Van Dyke Brown to gray it out just a little bit. And uh, scumbling that into the to the uh, folds and stuff. And then the the boots I actually painted in acrylics. And then the um, leggings, I, I made, mixed up some khaki. Khaki I mix uh, yellow ochre and white. And then uh, add just a dab of uh, um, ivory black to it just a dab and that gray grays it out otherwise you get a tan and then that takes it to the khaki so that's where we're at now I'm gonna start putting in some highlights and probably have to reestablish some darks then and uh, next time you come back it'll probably be real close to being done see you in a bit hey everybody all right, well, we're here for the final of the Alpine U.S. Infantry Big Red one. And I have to say, I couldn't be more pleased with the way this one turned out. I'm really pretty, as they say over in the U.K., chuffed about this one. It's just, I don't know. It just... First of all, this sculpt was just fantastic on this. I just, uh, I just had a blast painting it. It just, uh, it's just one of those figures that, from the face to the, to the sculpting on the, you know, I just, just Alpine, you know, uh, stuff is just so nice. They're, they're just a, uh, just a joy to, to paint and work on. Um, absolutely love them they got another one of their 116th skill i think it's the uh the armored division guy the guy that's in the um, second armored division he's got the the camel like the marines wore um might do that one sometime this year too but i think i'm gonna have to get me a couple more of these uh alpine 116th scale i've got a bunch of the 135th that I will be painting up, but uh, I want to get a couple more of these, but just really happy with the way it turned out. Um, for the most part, uh, it was all painted in oils other than, you know, the base coat. I did a, a base coat on the brown and the and on the green uniform, and uh, the, I can't remember if I did the boots in, well, they were definitely had oil on top of acrylic if I did the base coat in acrylic 
the rifle was painted all acrylics. But, uh, really, really nice figure. The, um, uh, you can kind of see how the, the, uh, gun strap kind of lays there. I thought that was pretty neat. And just, you know, you, you attach the one end with a bit of super glue and then you just kind of, you know, heat it with a, with a hair dryer and it just, you got to watch, you know, you can see it kind of goes a little bit limp and then you can basically shape it any way you want and a couple little hit it here, hit it there and then boom, it's done. But it's, it's such a cool figure. I love it. Um, and I like it that, you know, you don't end up having to mess with decals and stuff. When it comes back around here, you can see on his one shoulder, they got the the uh, insignia is is uh, sculpted into the figure, so it makes it pretty easy to um, to paint up. But uh, overall, just very very happy with this one. There are going to be some still photos at the end here, so um, stick around for that. All right, guys, I appreciate it. We'll catch you on the next one.